name's Tracy Jones. I'm the Director of Food Business at Compassion and Raw Farming. So the biggest challenge we face to improve pig welfare is that the systems in which we keep pigs simply just don't suit them. If you look at the characteristics of the pig, they're intelligent, inquisitive, sociable, active, but we keep them in confined systems and barren systems that simply don't suit the animal. We therefore require systemic change the whole system needs to be changed in order to improve uh, pig welfare, and that's a big barrier. So the main issues of confinement are around sow stalls, farrowing crates, low space allowance for meat pigs, and of course routine mutilations. So we do uh, address these issues of um, group housing of sows and uh, free farrowing, um, largely from two perspectives, from the food business approach with its Good Farm Animal Welfare Awards and through the campaign in the Cage Age. Um, when we look at the Good Pig Award, um, we require companies to commit to keeping sows um, in no confinement systems, so no sow stores throughout life and no farrowing crates. Um, and we also require that they provide them with bedding and manipulable material. We also produce um, informative booklets on the key features for successful operation of group housing of sows and of free farrowing of sows. Um, each booklet looks at key factors for success as well as analysing um, commercially available systems. We found that the booklets have been received very well Producers find them informative, and we've also started using them in China, where we now have our five-star pig production award also. The elimination of routine mutilations are part of our good pig production award, um, certainly for the meat pig element of it. And we ask companies to commit to no tail docking, no teeth clipping, and no castration. What we largely do with companies is uh, provide information on ways in which you know, they can operate without routine tail docking and alternatives to castration. We have um, uh, advice on contingency planning for you know, trial work and piloting, um, no tail docking uh, on farm. And as far as castration is concerned, then we are working uh, with various producers um, on improvised trials um, and looking at how effective um, they can be. And that's all about trialling the, the vaccination programme and looking at the meat quality. We would like to be able to do more case studies, however, they are uh, difficult to find. We do need to learn more about um, how some countries, like Finland for instance, um, are able to run um, effectively without tail docking and limited tail biting in relatively sort of standard systems also. Then from a lobbying perspective, our Chief Policy Advisor Peter Stevenson has been working with the Commission for many years on effective substrates and materials. Um, to provide pigs in order to reduce the risk of tail biting. And the Commission produced a really useful document a few years ago and are now pushing member states to actively enforce the ban on routine tail docking. Now the wording on that ban is useful because it says that you can try and end tail docking uh, but if you have problems, then you can revert to tail docking, but you must try and change your system. And that's one of the biggest challenges for the industry, to change that system. Now, so when we look at the three E's, the ethics, economics and environmental impact of uh, livestock and food production, at Compassion, we advocate that we need a humane, sustainable food system that allows for the successful coexistence of people, planet and animals, our three pillars of sustainability. That can be achieved through three means. Reducing the meat, dairy and eggs that we 
consume and produce and waste. Um, so maybe reducing portion size, better carcass utilization through replacing the meat that we eat through more plant-based alternatives or in the future clean meat alternatives and by improving the systems in which we rear animals um, so that those animals that are reared are reared in higher welfare systems that we pay more for that uh, product we consume a product that is healthier better for us better for the environment